Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Got another tips video today because I just want to make sure I'm getting these out to you. Yes, I did have COVID. Yes, I'm slowly feeling better. So I'm feeling up to make this video. I'm not gonna go too hard on it, but you know, gotta get the tips. It's Litwick Calm Day. You can't be missing Litwick Calm Day. Without further ado, let's get into Litwick Community Day tips and tricks. Now, first thing to note, if you guys want to know the details about this event, video up here, one of the two. Um, I don't really want to overextend myself, so we're not going to be covering the details in this video. You can check it's like a one and a half minute video, so just, just go watch that. But let's get right into the tips, starting with 100% IVs for Litwick. So if you don't know, there's certain CPs in the wild that if you catch them, there's a guaranteed chance they're 100% IVs. Starting with any Litwicks caught from research, 431 is going to be the 100% IV that's guaranteed. Perfect IV if you encounter it from research. If you encounter a Litwick in both foggy and sunny weather, when it's weather boosted, find a 934, that's the highest CP that Pokemon could potentially be in that condition, that's 100% IV. It's any other weather other than those two weathers. You're not weather boosted, you're looking at 863 as the perfect IV. There is a total of, of course, 35 different levels a Litwick can be found in the wild, depending on if it's weather boost or not. So there's a total of 35 other 100% IVs, um, or 33 others, or no, 32 others. Yeah, because minus three that we mentioned. So really the best tip to find the hundo is just to catch as many as you can, do as many tasks as you can, et cetera, et cetera. But that's just to know if you want to call out to your friends. We also have PvP IVs to cover. In PvP, you want low attack, high defense, high stamina on your Pokemon. I'll leave a video up here if you want to know why. Let's go through the best PvP IV sets for Chandler in the Great League, Ultra League, and Master League. In the Great League, 0, 14, 15 is going to be the perfect IV. Ultra League, 0, 15, 12 is going to be the perfect IV. And in the Master League, of course, 15, 15, 15. I'll also mention Lampant in the Great League in case you want to try that spice pick. A 0, 15, 14 is going to be the perfect IV. And that's a perfect translation into the move for this event. Poltergeist with Chandler is getting if you evolve one during the event or up to five hours after i think it's still 10 p.m let's take a look at if poltergeist is actually going to be any good okay so here are the stats for poltergeist on screen now this move unfortunately will not be good for chandelier let's talk about it as far as pvp goes this move is the exact same thing as the move fire blast which we already know it's not a very useful move in pvp chandelier is already bad in pvp um, and this move is just worse than shadow ball so getting a worse move and already being bad not going to help it not a good move for pvp on screen are going to be the stats for this move in raids versus shadow ball and as you can see again a strict downgrade less dps less tdo overall a worse so all in all this move uh, poltergeist not a good move for chandler at all you're going to stick with this regular move set it's got you can evolve them get them save them maybe they'll get rare or maybe they get a buff but generally it's not the move you want to be using right now besides that move chandler is still a very good pokemon in pokemon go you're looking at around like i think it's like the easily top five non megas non shadow fire type rate attackers and i think this is the number one non-legendary non-mecha non-shadow ghost type rate attacker so all in all good ghost type good fire type rate attacker great for raids not as good though for pvp you can honestly just kind of leave this pokemon it's more going to be a spice pick but definitely get a bunch of them for raids it does get a shadow form as well if that ever comes out it will be very very good but it's very interesting to think of the ghost as a shadow a weird concept okay now we do have three times catch xp during this event so of course as always make sure you hit those excellent throws you're getting 3,000 xp on a non-lucky egg excellent throw catch and 6,000 on a lucky egg excellent throw catch so more excellent throws you hit more xp you get it's a great event to grind xp also trade after the event you're going to be getting it's like 50 percent less stardust to trade during the event till 10 p.m and you get an extra special trade taking a bunch of laywicks finding a friend as always mirror trading them you can get lucky pokemon you know you can get hundos you can get candies you know xl candies and all that stuff for trading away litwicks so it's definitely going to be worth doing that and even you know randomly shiny trading a shiny that you might have caught could go lucky could get a shundo chandler just from a trade be crazy honestly the best tip really right now is just catch everything it's really the only tip anyone really needs like i could make this video three seconds catch everything you see more catches you get more litwick candy you get more litwick xls more xp you get more stars you get more everything you get so i definitely recommend catching as many pokemon as you can see you can use the quick catch technique and the air catch technique to catch pokemon even faster if that's something you care about leave links below with that how to do that but definitely catch as many pokemon as you can finally we'll end off with some metal tips of course the fire metal and the hex maniac catch 2500 of those types catch as many lures as you see if you haven't completed those we also have three hour lure modules drop a bunch of lures in a busy area It'll help you complete your picnicker metal use a lure to help trainers catch pokemon you know just help out the community be nice. Finally, you get five free snapshots of Litwicks during the community, so take those five to work on your cameraman metal. 
and that's really going to be it guys comment below if i missed any other tips for this event i know it's a short video i'm not 100 percent sure how i'm going to be playing community day i don't even know if i'm going to be really vlogging it i'll probably play it pretty light sucks i got COVID at this time because this is a community i was really excited for nonetheless so go out there enjoy your community catch some litwicks catch a shiny for me guys catch some shinies for me see y'all in the next one fall for tips guys peace